Hi guys, my name is Xar. Uh, I'm a new member of the Hardcore for You Guild or Clan, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I just uh, came across uh, with Davin, and we uh, he told me to make a video about my Demon Hunter because it's kind of really effective. And uh, yeah, uh, I want to show you the build first. It is basically just a hatred generator, like entangling shot, or you can also use a uh, hungering arrow, like with uh, serrated arrow. But I'm using entangling shot because it's also slowing in the enemies down. Then I'm using cluster arrow with loaded for beer for farming runs and with cluster bombs for single target, like uh, running bosses multiple times or something. But for usual farm runs, I just use uh, loaded for beer because it has more of a uh, area effect. Uh, then I use smoke screen. you can change that with shadow power if you want, but I just prefer smoke screen at the moment uh, for the extra uh, movement speed and uh, uh, invisible time. Then I use vault with tumble just for movement speed as well. Uh, then I use grim reaper for group farming with uh, unmarked for death. Or you can use uh, uh, compagnon with wolf compagnon if you have a chest like that because it summons three uh, wolves depends on what you prefer and if we do crypts uh, crypt of the ancients I prefer to use reign of vengeance because it is a permanent damage for like eight seconds that's pretty good as well but like for group and for group farming and for solo farming I just prefer mock for death because I can like one shot elites most likely um, then we got preparation with battle scars just in case I kind of drop low on health. And then I use tactical advantage for yeah, being fast after I vault. Um, archery for more crit hit damage with the crossbow and blood vengeance for more hatred every time you pick up a health globe. But the most important thing about this build is pretty much uh, having fire skill damage and having cluster arrow damage. I got 10% cluster arrow on my helmet which is not max, but like 14 is max, but this helmet is pretty good as well. Um, then you can have cluster arrows somewhere else. I think it's on the boots, I'm not quite sure. But you can look that up. So I'm not kinda, I'm not really maxed here. Um, you can get uh, fire damage because it's a fire based skill as well as uh, entangling shot. So I'm having uh, Bracers with fire skill damage and uh, Stone of Jordan with elite damage as well. So that gives a pretty nice XP boost. Uh, not XP, but uh, damage boost, you know. And you can have uh, the Mage Fist Legendary, I think it's called. Uh, it gives you extra fire damage. So you can boost that up way more than I have currently. I'm running at 130k uh, paper DPS. Um, with the scoundrel and stuff, I'm just gonna quickly go over my gear. If you wanna have a look at the items a little bit longer, you can just pause the video if you want. And yeah, most likely all the of the stuff is dropped from the game itself. Like I've been playing hardcore for like four, five, six days. The only thing I really bought is the manticore from the auction house and the gem I crafted myself with some money. As you can see, I don't have much money on hardcore. So I'll just demonstrate a quick uh, new Act 1 run that has been presented by Hardcore for You as well. And yeah. As you can see, the crits are not that high on trash. 1.7 million, most likely going up to 2 million at max. Um, yeah, just gonna have a quick look into all these. Uh, uh, cellars, whatever it's called, and then you just pop Grim Reaper on an enemy, and then yeah, one shot him. This is Torment One. Uh, you can go up to I think Torment Two, Torment Three. I mean this is hardcore, so it's kind of kind of risky to do it. But yeah, if you play on softcore, you can give zero fucks and just go uh, any Torment you want. Yeah, I'm not killing the trash here because it's most likely about killing elites and. Uh, the mothers. We're gonna encounter some elites on the on the next level. So yeah, the the crits here sometimes they are high, sometimes they are kind of low. Always depends on how lucky you are. 
yeah but now there's there's an elite right here and as you can see 3 million crits 3.3 million so it goes up pretty fucking good so we're just gonna have a look for some elites if we can find some I do hope so uh, doesn't look too good okay well let's just go on as you can see the crits are pretty high um, if you have elite packs you most likely wanna run into them with a uh, smokescreen and then pop grim reaper and then just spam the fuck out of your cluster arrow it's very effective for group farming as well like you do tons of damage and it's not even maxed out yet so if I get the correct gear I'll probably crit for like 5 million in the end so that's pretty cool but as you can see this is pretty much a one shot all the fucking time like most likely or three shots whatever you wanna call it I mean it's not taking a long time and yeah my gear is not it's not perfect at all it's just high crit high crit damage that's why I got the manticore but all the other stuff is just kinda average at the moment I'll try to to max that out and yeah I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, we made a video on a farm run that will be uploaded as well and there you can see the, the pure damage of this in a group and we are kinda melting torment one in a act 3 farm run so that's pretty fucking nice if you wanna see it uh, we'll probably link it in the description and yeah feel free to try it out on hardcore softcore whatever it's pretty safe to play in my opinion you won't die to reflect that fast if you have smoke screen up you can basically have it up all the fucking time as you can see it's just a matter of seconds where you don't have it up but that's just not too much and then you can use preparation if you're kinda low on health as well okay I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck on hardcore guys and have a lot of fun on softcore as well but I would always suggest you to try hardcore because it's really funny and yeah I really enjoy playing it so have a good day guys.